Hi everyone, I am Pendover and welcome to another Center Stage Tips video. Today we're going to learn how to make vertical content for YouTube, TikTok or Instagram. Before we start, I'd really recommend you to check out Ariana Katana's tips on vertical content to complement with this video. So the first thing we're going to do is change the ratio of your video to 916, which is the format for vertical videos. So I already have my project in the timeline. You need to make sure you also duplicate your gameplay because we need one um, for the gameplay on top and one for your camera if you're getting it from the same clip or else if you're recording up separately you can get your gameplay out like separately and like put it on top of the camera so for getting the gameplay we're using a crop over here and we're gonna make sure we use crop the part of your gameplay we will change the sequence settings so you go over here with sequence settings and this is for making your content actually vertical so it can be displayed in the format that we need for tiktok or any socials you want so you do that by changing the basically rotating the ratio basically this was here 1920 and 1080 was over here to use to look it up and it's gonna be 916 that's what we need then we click ok and as you can see we have the vertical size all right, so now that we have your project uh, aligned and everything, we're gonna dive into keyframing. Keyframing is, is animating an object. In this, you can animate like movement and what you want to do is track your body, as Irene Katana said in, on her tips video, because it's very important to see your body and if it gets cut, it's very weird. So that's what we're gonna do. So for keyframing, you need to click on these clocks on both over here, motion, and we're gonna zoom in a little bit so you can see it better so basically you need to follow your gameplay you need to follow your body and make the camera follow as well so the idea is to put a guide over here and like follow that guide as long as you're moving so we're gonna watch out my clip right now i'm not moving a lot right so we keep it there so in here i start walking towards the right and at some point it's gonna get a little cut out so over here so we go back you go back here and you set one tiki frame over here and then you move until you stay like on the place and that's when you position yourself to the middle again so that will do also the further you have these two keyframes between each other the smoother and like the slower will be the camera movement so for example this one has this movement but if i were to put this two closer to each other the camera will be moving like very quickly as you can see over here so i usually like to make it as smooth as possible usually with the movement of my body so basically you have to do this all along through your clip until you like the result and that will be probably mostly it. you can also zoom in zoom out you can do a lot of stuff with it you just like you need to understand the basics of keyframing so i have already played with the keyframes on the whole video as you can see over here um all those little dots of like squares i don't know the name all these little diamonds you see here are a keyframe meaning like there's movement in here so i'm gonna play it through you uh the more they are away from each other the smoother it's gonna be the closer you are to each other the quicker the camera moment will be you can also do sim zoom in and out i didn't do it this time but that is the skill animation for if you're just moving it right left up down um you don't need to do the skill but if you want to you can do that so you just play with the movement you play with the timing um all of that is on your hands but the basics of keyframing are this Thank you for watching. I hope you find these tips and tricks helpful. You can find me on my social media platform as panda underscore bear. And remember that the learning never stops. So stay tuned for another CS tips video. And make sure you hit the subscribe button down here to never miss a video. And see you in the next one. Bye.